Hi everyone, how are you? Happy Monday, hope everyone's having a great start of your week so far. My name is Diane Diaz and I am a CND education, educa education ambassador in Chicago, Illinois. I am super excited to be part of CND World Social Week and bringing you some short nail art styles today. So I hope that you'll join me and I hope that um, you will try this um, at home. So let's flip the camera over and get started. All right, so we are going to be using shellac today. So shellac is a product specifically for nail pros. So if you are a consumer and you're joining us on this live, thanks so much for being here. Um, feel free to try this in your regular lacquer that you have at home. And please feel free to take these styles back to your salon, back to your nail pro when we're back in business. It would be the greatest greatest compliment to them. And if you are a nail pro and you're on this CND Live with us, then I would love for you to try these at home to occupy your time a little bit. And please tag me at Feel Good Manicures and tag CND World so that we can see your designs too. So I'd love to show you what we're going to be working with today. I have these beautiful three looks that we're gonna work on. And all of them are brought to you to give the wonderful look of an elongated nail. And so I'll explain as we go along why I chose these looks for giving some short nails some length. And we are going to start with this little guy here. Let's get some focus on him. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this out for you. And I'm gonna zoom in so you can get a closer look. Okay, so. We are going to start this look with Uncovered. So we have our CND shellac base coat and two coats of Uncovered on this tip. But I would like to matte out the background. And so I have matted it already, but I would love to show you how to polish short nails since that's what we're working with today. And so when you're polishing with short nails, there's a little bit of a technique to be able to seal that edge. When we use the five point polish method that CND practices, this is a very important step. So I am going to be using our CND shellac matte top coat. And just with a little bit of product on the tip of your brush, we are going to seal this edge. As we normally would when we are working with nails. But the trick when working with short nails is to take your brush from around the back side and you kind of want to use a squeegee motion back and forth over the tip. And this will definitely call for sealing that edge. Then you'll want to work as you normally would and start in the middle. Polish up to the cuticle area, bring that down. Turn the finger over to one side. Turn the finger over to the other. Okay. 
and then you'll go ahead and cure that in your CND LED lamp under the I'm sorry, under the number one button for 10 seconds. Okay, so now that we've tap coated and cured, we are going to come back and we are going to use Cream Puff to do this design here. And so I have chosen this look because neutral shades have a lengthening effect on short nails. And especially when I use the matte top coat, it's gonna mute the background for us and allow our eyes to truly focus on the shine of the polka dots that are in a vertical pattern, which is also really lengthening to the eye. So in order to do that, we are going to take our cream puff and I'm going to use this palette here. And I'm gonna dot a little bit of the cream puff out onto this palette. And then I'm going to use a dotting tool. Now the dotting tool that I specifically am using has um, two different ball points. It has this small ball point, and then it also has this um, medium ball point. I know it looks pretty big under the camera, but it's a small and the medium. So if you take a look at our styles here, I've used the medium going down the center vertically, and then I've used the small dotting tool end on the other polka dots that we've used. And that's just to kind of really get the eye to focus on that center area, again, to create that elongated look. So let's go ahead and dip in our stylus here. And so this is loading up that product and so we just wanna kind of dab a little bit of that off to not overwhelm it on the nail. And we're gonna go right in to the center. So I'm using what we call balance point positioning. So I'm resting my pinky on my finger, or I can rest it on my middle finger so that I have really good control of where I'm gonna be placing that dot, which is right there in the center. And so you can go back and forth onto your palette. And place your dots. I see hello from the Philippines. Ryan Chris House of Fashion, thanks for tuning in. And Cynthia Hernandez, hi from South Texas. How you doing? So let's go ahead and continue and let's bring the next dot in the center. And then we'll bring our last dot here at the tip. So here we have our four dots and now I'm gonna use the small side of the dotting tool. I'm gonna dip that back in as well. I'm gonna load that stylus. And again, I'm just gonna remove any access here on the side just to make sure that I'm not over flooding. Colombia, bienvenidos. Japan, how are you? Okay, and so I'm going to use the pattern, which is a little bit off of the center, as you can kind of see on the smaller polka dots, so you see where I'm going. And so we'll just start dotting there. Now, if you have enough on your stylus, you definitely don't have to keep going back and forth to load it. And then you also want to pay attention to 
the details, which is in the corners and the edges. So working on the same side, you can use your dotting tool. Thank you so much, Beauty Lab. And again, we will use on the edges. So we have one side done. So we'll go back and I'll load my stylus. We'll come back in and we'll work on the other side. So creating nail art using polka dots is really one of the easiest ways to create nail art in different designs. So please feel free to try it out. It really gives you a lot of control. It's not as intimidating. And it's super fun. And I really just think this is a nice, classy look. Okay, so once we have our polka dots all laid out, we are going to cure this under the 2S button in our CND LED lamp. And in the magic of Instagram, we come back with our nail. And what we're going to do is we are going to top off these polka dots with CND shellac original top coat. Now, if you remember, we already sealed and protected our system by using our base coat, our two coats of Uncovered, and we finished the service with our shellac matte top coat. And so these polka dots and the original top coat is truly art that we have on a finished service. So we'll do the same and we will use our original top coat and we will place some on our palette here. And you're gonna use the same exact method that we used in placing our polka dots right over with our top coat. So we're gonna start in the center as we did before. Hello from the UK, Fuss Nails Beauty. Welcome, I hope that you're enjoying it. Hello from Spain, how are you? If you have any questions, feel free to drop them here in the comments and I'll make sure to take a peek and go back and answer as much as I can. So we'll start with our medium dotting tool again because we want to seal in those center polka dots. And again, as you can kind of see, if you have an excess of product, you can unload your stylus. And then we'll bring that right back and place it directly over the polka dots that you've already created. Hi, Laura Gehring, Cleveland, Ohio's in the house. So you will do this to every single polka dot that you have. Now just keep in mind that when your clients are using this as a nail style, that there is some texture. So I'll flip it over to the side so you can see. There is some texture to this nail. And so it's definitely going to be a completed service. So they won't have to worry about too much wear and tear, but they still wanna be careful as there is a little bit of a 3D effect. 
Okay, so we will finish topping off our polka dots on the other side. And I see these polka dots under the camera and they look ginormous. And in person, they're tiny and elegant. So feel free to use whatever stylus size that you like and keeping it proportioned to the nail. And then you're gonna take this and you're gonna cure it under the C&D LED lamp under button number three for top coat. And once that pops out, then you have your beautiful nail. All right, so that is look number one. I hope you guys like it and enjoy it. And so as you can see, the shine on the polka dot just really allows for your eye to catch that. And then we have that beautiful matte background. And Floor Beauty Bar is asking if the live will be saved for 24 hours. Yes, you will see it for 24 hours. And if I'm not mistaken, um, you can find it on the Facebook page and you can also check the CND's YouTube channel as well. Yeah, so um, it's Camila P mentioned that the glossy on top of the matte base makes them look like pearls, which is absolutely right. It's such a cute, simplistic look, but it's really nice and chic. Hi, Jan, how are you? Okay, so let's move on to our second look. And our second look is this little guy here. And so I specifically chose this look um, because negative space lines are really elongating and flattering on short nails. And adding that vertical detail of the beautiful gummy going down the center really attracts the eye. And then the details of art that we added on top on the edges allows a look to look simplistic bring some character but it also allows it for the nail not to look as cluttered so that was my inspiration behind this look and now we're going to show you how to do it all right so we are going to start off as mentioned with clearly pink. And so you might ask yourself why we're starting off with clearly pink if we had gummy as our first layer. And the reason is because we do have negative space in this nail look, we definitely wanna make sure that we complete the shellac service underneath before we start off with art. And so this negative space that you do see here has clearly pink underneath there. So this tip has already been prepped with two coats of, I'm sorry, with a coat of CND base coat and has already been prepped with two coats of clearly pink. And so we are gonna go straight in with our coat of gummy. Thank you, Tamara. I'm so honored that you are mentioning that you'll love this design coming from you. It's a huge compliment. So thank you for watching. CND Jess, thanks for coming on. Hey, Holly, how are you? Short nails are on trend. Definitely, we're all in quarantine at home. And so keeping them nice and short is definitely what we want to do to keep our nails nice and clean. So what better way to dress them up than to use these short nail styles? Okay, so we are going to use gummy on half of this nail, just using our brush straight out of the bottle. 
Okay. And we'll tilt it to the side and make sure that we have all of our edges. And remember, we would have already sealed our edges with clearly pink. And so this is truly art on top, so no need to go ahead and do that with our gummy. And we will cure this under the lamp, under our two S button and our CND LED lamp. And in the meantime, I'm going to take a peek and see if we have any comments on here. Hello from the, Hill from the Philippines again, Girl on Fire 805. Thanks for tuning in. We have a lot of people from the Philippines. Welcome. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. So we are going to bring that back out. And as you can see, we have some wavy lines on here. So I am going to use a detail brush. And you can feel free to use whichever one that you feel comfortable with. Um, this one happens to be by Lacente, and it is an S1 brush if anyone is wondering which one it is. Okay, and so we are going to use blue eyeshadow as well as cream puff. Okay. Refresh our cream puff there. And as you can see, we used these beautiful wavy lines and we use them in the power of three. And so you'll go ahead and load your brush. And so again, we just wanna go and make sure all sides of our brush is coated. And then you'll probably notice that you'll have a little bit of a dollop at the end. And so you'll want to just use each side to coat and remove any excess from your brush. And then we can go back in and create our waves. So we can start here on the side. And then we have our second wave here in our negative space. And then we have our third wave here towards the cuticle area. All right. They are very pigmented, yes, Jan, and they are very easy to use, as you can see. And now I'm just going to wipe my brush on a pad using IPA. And we are going to dip back into Cream Puff. Again, I'm going to load my brush. And I'm gonna remove any access here on the side. And I'm just going to go over on the inside and just use the same technique. So you've definitely kept it simple, but you can feel free to use as many lines as you like. Okay, so we have all three there. And so what we will do is pop this into our CND LED lamp. 
under the 2S button and then when it pops back out you will use whatever your favorite CND shellac top coat is in this case I used original top coat and then you are all set for this beautiful fresh negative space vertical line look all right thank you Josie Matthew thanks for tuning in all right so I think this next look is probably one of my faves and I chose this look specifically um, because as we mentioned neutral shades definitely have a lengthening effect and so I combined the neutral shades with the muted background as well using matte and then i brought back those wavy vertical lines so that it gives us the illusion of an elongated nail as well and so i used some of our favorites and i thought to myself if i'm going to be on cnd's live doing nail art i have to use my friend field fox and so Field Fox is definitely my go-to. It's one of my favorite colors. It looks wonderful on every skin tone. It's a beautiful neutral. And so why not pop it back into some art for you all to enjoy? If there was a house on different shellac colors, I would definitely be in the Field Fox house. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to start this look again with our CND base coat and two coats of, as I mentioned, Field Fox. Hi, Andrea, how are you? Yes, you're a Field Fox girl. Roxanne, how are you? Okay, uh, let's take a look. We've cured this under the number three button in our CND LED lamp as we, muted, as we used our matte top coat as well. So we wanted to mute that background. Yes, Field Fox is always a win. <laughs> and so we used a variety of colors I have used Unlocked, Uncovered, and Inhibited. All right. So the very first color that we used was Unlocked. And we are going to use the brush just right out of the bottle and create those vertical wavy lines. And now you can choose to do them um, at an angle, but I chose to do them in a vertical line down the center. And what you'll do is you'll start off at the top and just use your brush and create that nice wave. Okay. And then we will lock this in our CND LED lamp under the 2S button. And we'll get our next color out, which was uncovered. And Uncovered is actually the color that we used in our first polka dot look, which is beautiful. It's like a nice pinky peach. And so I really love the monochromatic look as well, as that also is super classy and also elongates the nail as well. So we are going to use that same motion with Uncovered.
and it's okay if it is not completely opaque because it definitely has that beautiful transition where someone looks like it's kind of faded one into the other and blended, so it does not have to be perfect. Hey Winnie, how are you? All right, so the next color that we are going to use is Uninhibited, which is a beautiful peach tone. And again, we are going to use those same motions There we go. And we will cure under 2S in our CND LED lamp. Now, one thing that I also added is when we top coat this look, as you can see, there's a little bit, um, before we used our first color, I used our top coat just a little bit over the edge here to kind of highlight Field Fox as our first wave. And so using our CND original top coat, we'll just go over our first color and create that there. Okay. So we'll pop that out and just so you can see, We have our top coat and we're just going to go outside of our design and create that first wave with our top coat. All right. So we're going to pop back in our lamp. under our number three button. And so here are our beautiful three looks. Again, I really hope that you all enjoyed this live. And I just wanted to show you what you can do with these same exact styles at home. And so polka dots are super fun, with this, which is the same look here. We have our vertical negative space, and then we also have that same style with our waves, except we focused it as a little bit of a little wave and a half French. So same technique, just playing with colors. So I thank you all so much for joining me here on this beautiful Monday, and I hope that you guys will stay tuned for the rest of the week. We have beautiful Mr. Tan, who's going to be on tomorrow, Tuesday, showing stamping techniques. We have Winnie Wednesday. We have Beth Livesay and Winnie on Thursday. I'm talking about NTNA and her experience with Nails Magazine. So I truly, truly hope that you guys will stay tuned. Again, my name is Diane Diaz, and you can find me at Feel Good Manicures. And I hope that you will take these styles, try them out, and I hope that you will tag me. I thank you all so much for tuning in. I really appreciate your time and... Everybody take care. Thank you.